You know, in this field, there are so many people I wanted to meet, and I didn't. Dr. Janice Moore comes to mind. I think she was in Colorado. She wrote a paper in Scientific America, and it was 40 years ago now she wrote this paper. And it struck me. I mean, this was very, very early in my career. And I got to tell you, I didn't read the first generation. I probably read it 20 years after it was published. But the headline is, Parasites That Change the Behavior of Their Host. Guys, fungus parasitizes man, and we become the host. And she says something really magical in here that I thought, I got to read this to the people. Some parasites change the behavior of their host by invading its central nervous system. That doesn't sound like a, like a worm, an intestinal fluke. That sounds like exactly what fungus can do to you and me. Yes, it can invade our immune system, it can invade our nervous system, it can invade our skin, our bladder, our brain, etc. It does that. In severe cases, that's the way fungus works. But then it changes your behavior. One behavioral attitude we all have is eating, right? Can fungus make you begin to crave pasta and bread and alcohol and sugar? You bet it can, because in the war between human cells and fungal cells, guess which is the dominant partner? Fungus always wins that war. If it can eat, it stays inside you, parasitizing you. If it can't eat, it wrecks havoc with your body and your central nervous system. You know, I love a question like this one because it probably comes from a younger member of the audience, right? Who else would ask, how do I prevent fungal infections and who better to tell us than a man who suffered with a lot of fungal hey, conditions? Buddy. Good to see you. How's it going? Thank you for coming in. Have a seat. Thank you. Uh, you are a guy that we have shown pictures of your legs, your hands. Oh, yeah. You couldn't show pictures of your brain, but <laughs> you, this it was guy, so small. Kyle had yeast and fungal problems so bad and they cleared up around the time you first learned. You were working yeah. for a big pharmaceutical company. Yeah. You went to the room one day and I was on TV and you probably thought, what a quack, right? Well, yeah, there was a, there was a lot of those first moments and uh, I was a guy who loved natural medicine even though as a, I was professionally in the pharmaceutical world. Yeah. I didn't know that you did this for a living <laughs> and so I was, uh, I was a fan of it but there was a missing link. The missing link was fungus. Uh, thank goodness you called it yeah, the fungus right. link. Now you hadn't written that book yet, yeah. but you were linking all of my symptoms to fungus. Well, when I first got into this, I wasn't trying to prevent, I was trying to deal with it. I already had psoriasis, insomnia, depression, restless leg syndrome, allergies, hair, asthma, hair, as Doug just said. <laughs> and so, yeah, but I had all of those. I actually did have all of those things. And, and so I had to deal with it, and I had to deal with it aggressively, so I went all in. Now, I already knew what I thought was a healthy diet. Turns out I was whole grain, yep. 11 servings every day, all of yeah. this stuff. What I didn't know is that it was clear that these things contain mycotoxins or fungal poisons, so I had to eliminate those from the diet. And it didn't take long for the first symptoms to start going away. I had chronic sinus infections, which we know is yep. fungus. Yep. Um, chronic sinus infections, those went away, but they, they kept coming back, and so it took a long time before I didn't have frequent sinus infections. Psoriasis went away pretty quickly. Depression subtly went mm. away. Allergies, it took a year because I only have seasonal allergies, so the following year I realized I don't have these. Yeah. And so it took some time. Don't expect it to be overnight for absolutely everything. Some people have those turnarounds, some people don't. So Kyle, there is a 35-year-old asking this question, yep. or a 25-year-old asking this question, Hey, I've seen mom and dad go through it. I saw my grandpa die of cancer. Maybe there was a fungal component to that. Yeah. Uh, how do I keep it out of my life? If you were to give three or four tips, what would those be? 
start with diet. Always the diet comes first. Um, it, you can try to supplement your way to good health, but yeah. I've tried that. That's fool's gold. And yeah. uh, supplements are great. That's number two. But diet is number one. So stick to the phase one diet. I always say I stick with phase one, cheat to phase two. Yeah. Um, but if you stick with that, that's huge. Then we like the supplements. Do we like the multi-nutrient formulas? Yeah, we love those multi-nutrients. Maybe multivitamin, maybe greens powder, that kind of thing. All of the probiotics, all of the NSC beta-glucans, you bet, we love those things. And we like those antifungal herbs that we rotate, the caprylic acids and the olive leaf extracts and the oregano oils. We always keep those on hand. We also like the exercise. Mm. I'm sorry, but sweating, golly, <laughs> to get that stuff out. Especially is, with psoriasis like you used to have. Isn't it true? Yeah. I mean, that was one of those things, those skin conditions. It responds to these types of strategies, and exercise is front and center. I like getting some good... Re in theory, I, I, I confess, you have a family. I'm such a night owl. <laughs> Doug will see emails that I send to him at midnight. You know, I mean, I, I'm a night owl. That's a problem that I have. It's not that I can't sleep. It's that I seem to wake up at night. Uh, but really and truly, sleep is a big part of it. And I hydrate like crazy. You see my wa water yep. bottle over yep. there. I drink nearly a gallon of really pure water every single day. I use uh, Positive Power Nutrition Cell yeah, Power yeah. in there. I love, you know, that, I, yeah. I love I, I put all of that stuff in there. But really and truly, if you start with diet, make those phase one changes, and learn how to have a few menu items, get them to stick, and I'm telling you, prevention is so much easier than dealing with the problem after it, after it know, comes on. John Miller, our yep. producer, came up with a list, and I thought it was really, really good from a layperson standpoint. You know what his number one thing was? What's Hygiene. Mm. Clean your hands, mm -hmm. you know, stay clean. Uh, this fungus grows when hygiene is poor, but it can grow when hygiene is perfect too. But it really gains access. You know, you go into a hospital and they got those squirt things that you clean your hands with all the time. Don't know if I'm into killing all the good bacteria <laughs> on the skin, but it makes sense to wash your hands a lot. Um, and, and then I'm with you, Kyle. The exercise is very important because you perspire. Ex I exercise, you know, to perspire and to stay in shape at my old age. Uh, diet, this phase one diet is a gift from God for all of us. It I mean, is. this is the phase one diet virtually starves pathogenic mold yeah. from your body. Uh, so thank you for coming in. Good. Thank you for asking that question. How do we prevent mold in our bodies? You take charge of it. Don't let it overcome you. Are your eyes becoming cloudy, less able to see far or close? Do they tire, fog up, or tear up easily? Are you diabetic? If so, you need NSC Eye Care Formula to provide essential nutrients for eye health, especially as we age. Check with an eye care professional to confirm your present condition. Respond nutritionally by using the unique NSC Ammunition Eye Care Formula combining important eye nutrients, vitamins, and ingredients that promote eye health, especially if you have diabetic challenges. For the first time in any eye care product included is ammunition glucan with potent antioxidant properties to help neutralize eye damaging free radicals. And ammunition eye care formula comes in capsules instead of messy drops. Seeing is believing, and you will both believe and, for most, see the difference with the unique NSC Ammunition Eye Care Formula. Which of my books fit you? Are you or a loved one suffering from mental dysfunctions, hormone problems, autoimmune diseases, or ear, nose, and throat problems? Good news is you'll get educated on all those health problems and you'll have the phase one, phase two diets, and whether or not you might consider prescriptive drugs and what they are, or natural approaches, all in the Fungus Link, volume two. So Betty came up with a question of the day, really, and much of it's answered toward the end of the show with my friend and your friend, Dr. Oh, John Trowbridge. Can't wait. But when do I get a prescription for fungal medicines? I'm going to turn this book over to you because this book was pivotal in your understanding. Well, of... you were on television, but you hadn't written the fungus link yet. Right. And you were always referencing 
C.C. Kibler's Principles and Practices of Clinical Mycology. And I went to Ratcliffe's Bookstore in Oklahoma City, that's the bookstore associated with OU Medical School, and I started looking at the table of contents. Fungal infections of the respiratory tract, in ophthalmology, of the kidney, of the gastrointestinal tract, ear, nose, and throat, and then I came to dermatology. While I was covered with psoriasis, I couldn't read to, uh, wait to read this, and I was reading this chapter starting in page 103, and it was just a page turner. I, st I forgot time, I'm in a bookstore, <laughs> and I'm just reading, yeah. and finally I decided, I better buy this book, and it was a game changer for me. When I discovered how big of a deal it was, yes, I found a physician who would give a prescription for Nystatin, not Diflucan. My wife later got one for Diflucan, and she gave it to me. But when I took Nystatin, I had a Herxheimer effect, which means there was a lot of die-off. All of these critters are dying off at once, and I kind of swelled up my wedding ring had to come off before I took it because wow. it would always swell up. And so if you are at the stage where you have found a clinician who is willing to prescribe, you've found gold. But that's kind of the prerequisite. Kyle, they're frightened of the systemic antifungal drugs. They're called yeah. azoles, right? So fluconazole is really diflucan that he was talking about. And doctors learn in medical training that they're bad on the liver. Yeah. I've got to tell you, I never saw that. None of the doctors I worked with ever saw hepatotoxicity, but it may be a real condition. Use naturals if you can and continue watching Know the Cause. Thanks, Kyle. Hi, I'm Susie Cohen, author of The 24-Hour Pharmacist, and I only recommend Dr. O'Hara's probiotics. You see, most probiotic products contain billions of freeze-dried bacteria, but that can aggravate bloating and gas. Dr. O'Hara's provides only live, beneficial bacteria, plus their prebiotic nutrition. It supports noticeable digestive comfort. I believe in Dr. O'Hara's consistent results. It takes guts to feel great. Which of my books fits you? Can you cook your way to wellness? Can you eat your way to wellness? That's the name of a couple of books I've written, Cooking Your Way to Good Health or Eating Your Way to Good Health, loaded with recipes. Whether you want to follow the phase one diet or the phase two diet, please your families with good tasting foods all put together in these two great recipe books. Now here's a special snack that Denny made in the kitchen that especially if you're a male, you will love this. And if you're a fungus, you just hate it. Denny, in the 1970s, it was potato chips. I'd come home from work, could open a bag of potato chips, and I just loved the taste. Maybe I was salt deficient. 1980s, 1990s, it was carrot and celery sticks. Had them all the time, cut them up the night before, put them in a little salt water, ate them all the time. Used to drive to work uh, with six or seven carrot sticks, right? 2000s, early 2000s, cashew nuts, almonds, etc. There's gotta be a goodie, a reward for phase one eating. I come home from work, I'm hungry. And when you were putting these together, this really hit, Denny, because this is something that's tremendous protein, tremendous nutrition, and you can leave them in your refrigerator and they taste great. Yeah, they're really yummy. And the only problem with them is, is you can never make enough. No matter how many you make, you will run out, I promise you, especially if you make them for a gathering where there's a lot of exactly. guys there. <laughs> there's, when there's bacon and chili involved, it, you're, it's all over. It's a football game. So, so all this is, is I've taken um, chicken tenders, cut them into little chunks about an inch square, and wrap them in some turkey bacon. This is xylitol and I use chipotle chili powder which is a little spicy yeah. um, if you were doing it for children you might want to use just regular chili powder maybe a little less of it I used a quarter cup of xylitol and a teaspoon of chipotle chili powder you might want to use like a half a teaspoon for kids of regular chili exactly. powder. exactly not much time to chop them roll them up and put oh, no, the toothpick in. How, how long it does it take to cook them? 20 22 minutes at 350 so you could really there goes the potato chips yeah. you could really make 50 of these 60 of these pop them in the oven, bring them out, put them in yeah. some kind of And they're of fast to make, but they're a little time consuming just because you have to make so many of them because, as I said, they you can so never quick, have right? them. Right, bring your friends over. I'm going to pop these in the okay, oven good. at 350. Good.
intestinal hyperpermeability. What in the world is that? Okay, so no show would be complete on Know the Cause without talking about fungus and without meeting Frank Jordan, the president of the NSC company. Thank you for driving in, Frank, and teaching right. us. Your white coat is so fitting because Frank is funding the majority of research going on today in the United States on beta-glucan. Out at the University of Nevada, Dr. Ken right. Hunter, big name immunologist out there. Thank God he's a professor of medicine out there and his students are learning about something called beta-glucan. If you're brand new to this show, beta-glucan doesn't kill a thing. It amps up and increases the population of your immune system, especially when it's micronized and that means the particulate is so tiny it can grab hold of pathogens in your body and help render them harmless. So, Frank, let's talk a little bit about fungus. And Frank is always here with a toy or two, luckiest <laughs> grandkids in the world. So teach us about fungus and beta-glucan. Well, the, the main thing I want to talk about today, the glucan itself amps up the immune response and activates it. And it, it relates to fungus like no other immune potentiator. Uh, it's an extraction that mimics fungus with no pathogen. So it gets all excited and it will get the immune cells to go and seek out on fungus as a priority and then secondarily look for viri, uh, bacteria, whatever else is pathogenic that wants to harm you. But we have what's called Doug's Duo. We put it together with caprylic acid and caprylic acid is a fatty acid. It's unique in killing fungus because if you're taking antibiotics or any of these things, he's laughing at me about my toys. <laughs> I love his toys. But if you're a sea head, you can get this from lit sometimes. There you go. But fungus will burrow in. If you're taking antibiotics in the lining, leaky gut, all these things, the food allergies result can come from that. But if you take the caprylic, it will go in, discover the fungi in the lining and kill it. And so you rid yourself of that fungus, it's gone. If you get the ratio correctly, you keep it six to one, good to bad, in all likelihood, candida will not result. If you don't, fungus will take over, like you've killed your lawn, well, what will come in is mm. fungus, and you're gonna have some major issues, Doug. So we have Doug's Duo, we put it on half price, that is the NSC 160 count, the big boy, as you call it, yep. and 60 count plus the caprylic acid, half price. Okay, now you can get some of this big boy, as Frank's talking about, immunition beta-glucan free, right? If you just call the telephone number right there at the bottom of the screen, write it down and call, Frank will send you this free. He won't, you know, collect your phone number and call you back. He won't charge you postage. It's yours free. Try this for a dozen days and see how you feel. Um, Frank, here's what I love about Doug's Duo. Caprylic acid is a fungistatin. It's a harmless coconut oil derived fatty acid, right? And it stops fungus from proliferating through your body. But the duo part of it, the second part of it is beta-glucan. Doesn't kill a thing, doesn't stop a thing. As a matter of fact, it defends your own immune system. All diseases occur because your immune system couldn't stop the disease or the pathogen from coming in your body and uh, not defending you, it didn't. So that's where beta-glucan, that's where I love it. You're the genius behind beta-glucan. You were the guy that figured out, wait a minute, here's the receptor site on the cell, here's the beta-glucan, hey, it's too big. I gotta make this a fine powder so it fits in perfectly. Micronizing the beta-glucan. Not all product is micronized. No, and it needs uniform micronization. It needs to be the same, because you got all these receptor sites, one to two microns. It just makes sense. If you've got a 50 micron size, it's not gonna go in there. If it's one to two, it goes in. Why do you care? You want a fast response. You want it to be with a number of immune cells attacking, and you want them to be potent and prepared when they get there. If you got an issue, you want to get over it. That's yeah. all what it's about. Health is either don't get it or get over it. And you know what's even better? Take the glucan, let your immune response amp up one-fifth of your body God gave you, and don't get it. ImmuCleanse is a product I love because of the opening three or four. I mean, there's so many good uh, components to each of your products. Tell us about ImmuCleanse. Uh, 26 components, but for fungus, it's really something. Oregano, garlic, citrus extract, and then on and on, wormwood. You can lose nine or 10 pounds just getting all that gunk <laughs> out of your system, Doug. It is an absolutely amazing, as I said, detox, cleanse, and antifungal in one bottle. Try it. If you got one product you want to get, Boy, get the glucan first, that's two products, and then get the immucleanse. Yeah, immucleanse, I think so many of us are parasitized, either by worms or fungus, et cetera, and the wormwood and 
it, look, his products are fantastic. Uh, uh, turn that way and get a free uh, sample of this if you're brand new watching today's show. Frank, good to see you. Great to Thank be you here. Thank you for stopping in today. Don't go away, friends. More of Know the Cause right around the corner. If you have knee pain, back pain, muscle pain, or any kind of pain, Flexin is here to help. But you don't have to take my word for it. Here's what this Flexin user has to say. Well, I recommend Flexin because it has worked so well for my wife and I, and we are able to continue our work uh, pain-free as a result of taking this product faithfully. You've seen Flexin on Know the Cause with Doug Kaufman. Now's your chance to take advantage of this great offer. It's buy one, get one free, but you have to call right now. Call one 800 n pain Barb and Frank Long of Long Life Unlimited are distributors of one of the best home cleaning degreaser products in the country called Orange TKO with Delemony. Also they feature many products in the Rafa Remedy line. Try this amazing product on your skin today. They also can serve you with 300 other products, many that are featured on Know the Cause. Ask for the Know the Cause special now by calling the number or logging on to longlifeunlimited.com. Remember, it's God given, people approved, and doctor recommended. I love this segment. We know what a professional doctor is, what a professional CPA is. What's a professional patient? You know, I think the most important problem is that people get frustrated with doctoring. By the time they've seen us, most people have already seen a dozen, two dozen doctors. They grow up healthy and then they start getting a problem. So they see a doctor, it doesn't get fixed. They see another and then a third and then a specialist and another specialist and their friend refers them to yet another and pretty soon they're very experienced as patients. They don't expect to get better. They just go see another doctor for another pill. And that's the problem, we keep adding pills. You know, the TV ads say, ask your doctor if this pill is right for you after they've listed all the side effects up to and including depression and death. Well, the question is, does that sound healthy? And the answer is it doesn't. What if you actually know the cause of what's causing your problem? Now, it could be bacterial infections, unlikely because most doctors figure those out. It could be fungal infections, very likely the yeast is a, is a problem for you, especially if you've had medications or if you've been sick for a long time. Is it your diet? Uh, do you live in America? I can assure you, it's your diet. The foods that we have, the food selections and the food choices we make are getting us in trouble. The neat thing is, every one of the things I'm talking about is 100% reversible. You can get out of your trouble. Your body can redo, remake, repair itself. Rejuvenation is around the corner if you just do the right things. The question is, what are the right things for you? Because they're different for each person. So what we do is, like a thumbprint, we figure out what's going on for your particular needs, personalize your care, and make it happen. Then you have the program you can follow pretty much for the rest of your life. And that's the fun part. It's for the best of your life. Kyle, as I was watching that, I first met Dr. Trowbridge, who looked totally different, as did I, <laughs> back in the 1970s. Oh, wow. In Houston, near the airport. Same office. I was out there recently. Same office for 40 years. Uh, but what did you think of that clip? Isn't that fascinating? We are becoming professional patients. Yeah, and I think that uh, he didn't really, he wasn't talking about this specifically, but the mindset yeah. of being a professional patient, of, look, I've tried everything, I'll do this now. Eventually, you can get into a rut to where you don't expect to get any better. And maybe for good reason. Whenever you keep going from doctor to doctor and you're doing the same old thing and here's whole grain this and low fat that, it's very easy to see why so many people are discouraged. But I agree and I love that Dr. Trowbridge has such a heart for people, though. Oh, he, he's you come amazing. to his office and I'm telling you, it's all heart and to go step by step and to have somebody to look you in the eye and confidently say, like what he said, you can get better and mm -hmm. just expect that so much of what you're dealing with probably originates with yeast, fungi, yeah. they're yeah. mycotoxins. That's Big Lee. And he wrote the book, The Yeast Syndrome. By the way, yeah. John, would you do me a favor and put up his phone number underneath if people want to call? Oh. If I watch that clip of him, yeah. 
and I were sick, I'd make an appointment with him. Absolutely. I'd hop on an airplane, I'd fly into Hobby in, you know, uh, in yep. Houston and uh, go visit him. He's Absolutely. that kind of a guy. Here was the take home message, and this is 40 years ago. John <laughs> Trowbridge and I had this conversation and he held up his thumb and he said, basically every one of my patients is that. Hmm. And I said, is your thumb? And he said, no, <laughs> they represent to me a thumbprint. Every one of them is different. And that's the way he treats that patient. He listens first. Far too often in a medical setting, man, you're poked, prodded, up and down, needled, and then, okay, nurse, take over. What just happened there? Plus, he brings up something I think is quintessential for all of us to understand. Those pharmaceutical ads on TV, all I can tell you folks mm. is listen very, very carefully. And then ask your doctor if he wants to prescribe that. Oh, he will. Hi, I'm Carlos Escalante. For generations, the southern regions of Italy have been known for low incidences of cardiovascular health. And here's the reason why. Bergamante, an extract with published human clinical studies for the support of healthy cholesterol and blood sugar levels. Also a powerful antioxidant. Call today to find out how you can get a free bottle of Bergamonte by Herbal Ultra. Which of my books fits you? How many people do we know suffering with kidney diseases, skin problems, postpartum depression? All those topics are covered along with the phase one, phase two diet and natural and prescriptive antifungals in the book, The Fungus Link, volume three. Okay, antibiotics and probiotics. Uh -huh. You take one to offset some damage done by the other. Uh huh. Isn't that fascinating? Yeah. Probiotics, when you started in this field, were there probiotics? Yeah, there were probiotics, and they were good ones also. A lot of people it's brand new for, though. I keep talking to people all the time, and they still have never heard of probiotics, but it's a game changer for most people. So you swallow antibiotics, and then you need to make up, antibiotics are indiscriminate bacteria killers. Then you may need to make up that good bacteria. You do that with probiotics, so says Susie. I always suggest taking probiotics while you're on the antibiotic. Don't make the mistake of waiting, think about it. After you swallow your antibiotic pill, it eventually exits your gut and enters your bloodstream, and that's the time to take your probiotic supplement. So wait about two to four hours after your medication and then take your probiotic. This will help minimize tummy upset and diarrhea, which is often associated with antibiotics. 